What's, What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shads React, and we're back with another video. What we got today, see? Today we are back with another Tom McDonald reaction. We will be doing his song, Dear Rappers. You guys asked for this one. Yes, y'all did. I see a lot of people in the comment section saying, hey, you, you guys need to react to Dear Rappers. So y'all asked for it, we're delivering it. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. With that being said, we are on the road to 50K. 50K. Woo! Woo. Came a long way. Yes, Y'all, yeah. if you would like to help us scroll down, hit the red subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out, though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Sierra mentioned this a while back about time. He goes straight in. Yeah. The dude do not wait for the beat. The beat got to come to him. Like, he, he, mm -hmm. he snaps instantly. Yeah. Like, my man basically said that this rap thing right now, for me, is what I want in life. And you guys are going to be the reason, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that I continue my journey. Yeah. And I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So vocal, so bold. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He speaks. He talking directly to the rappers. Yeah. <laughs> he said he can't relate. Rappers, can you help mm -hmm. me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever Eminem? He keep on messing with Eminem. Eminem, bro. He really don't like Eminem, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. We're going to have to talk more about that one right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days, it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even the your music feel like you're trying to write a check. Don't you hate that? Like when you support somebody that you really like, you know, yep. like even in social media and, you know, you just feel like they're only doing something for the money. Yeah, like where's the love? Where is the love for your supporters? Mm. Yeah. Well. Or when you give me even less. You taught me to grow. You taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink. You teach me to smoke. You teach me to think. Woman's a hoe. I don't Wow. That's why I like you, too. Wow. That is why I like you. What is the... Like, I don't care where we are, you guys. What is the number one thing that we're going to always hear? Music. Yeah. And I felt like the Deal Rappers track that he just, like, this this little... These bars that he just put out was... That was, like, really... Mm -hmm. Like, that was really clean. How you yeah. say that? Because mm -hmm. I didn't hear no line that. At all. Because um, music once upon a time wasn't what it is now. Exactly. And music as it is now wasn't was what it was then. And I'm going to just say it like that. Let you guys read between the lines. Yes. Of because, you know, like back in the day, I could listen to, give me a rapper. I love Tupac. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a person, I'm a writer. So, I love, like, you know, neo-soul music. I love music that, uh, that allows me the opportunity to think and not just entertain me. You know, so it's hard for me to listen to new age rappers because mm -hmm. they're talking about the great woman. Like, why would I want to listen to a song and you are tearing me down? You know, mm -hmm. like, lift me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's crazy, though, because another yeah. thing is like, so, right back in the day, people actually had something to talk about. Mm -hmm. Like, the struggle would make these songs more, you know, potent to the ear. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we would hear and be like, wow, this sounds so soothing because you can hear the passion in it. Mm -hmm. But now, the, today's rap, they talk about what they got. And it's like, let's, let, let, let's like, like, people hear it and be like, I gotta have it too, I gotta have it too. Mm -hmm. And like he said, all we do is talk about, he said something about women's being this and the third. Yeah. And it's like, you taught me all the things now in life and it seems wrong. Mm -hmm. More so than what it was back in the day. Yeah, he what said, it more right. at first you used to teach me to think, teach me to grow, and yeah, help that's me it right out there. of my suicidal thoughts. And now you, you know, yeah. That's crazy. He put that in, ooh, he put that in right like that. Mm -hmm. On your sand bars, all your fancy foreign cars, throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's dark. No, no, no. I can't 
medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important than what you wear and where you live and who you are, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full of Drop mic. We don't even need to finish the song. What else can drop, you say after that? What else mic. can you say after that? I mean, that's like Like what? Like I I guess it hits him different because he's saying, um, especially after watching um what was the name of the song? What was the last song? Uh, can't think can't of think it. Can't think of it right now. But mm -hmm. the one about the PTSD. Mm -hmm. um, he's saying, you are rapping about some, about abusing a drug that I had to take to stay alive. Like, whoo, man. Rappers is the marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full play. Rappers is promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me. Cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the bum and I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day. And all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been... Rappers, what are we doing? What are we doing, rappers? What are we doing, rappers? That's crazy. Like, yo, my man just said a whole mouthful. Like, you guys are... And... There's a rapper who actually said that, um, I think it's Lil Baby, on uh, his Black Lives Matter track, mm -hmm. um, he said that he has a platform, which he's proud of, he yeah, has a about platform voting about stuff. voting, and he's yeah. very vocal with it, but he can't say too much. Mm -hmm. That's what he said, that's what he said. That was so crazy, right? And as rappers with all the money and all the influence, and just not rappers in general, a lot of people. Anybody with a platform. Anybody with a platform, and we can go back to social media, anybody with a platform can literally be changing lives. Yeah, you, you know are what I'm saying? Who people look up to. Ooh, he said a lot. But instead, it's like, he said they are, <laughs> I don't want to go to that. That's what I'm saying, he said it right. It sure is keeping them inside the hood. It sure is. Wow. Spars on your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's hard. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Time is definitely a seed, bro. Mm -hmm. And when this guy, re well, like, when he surfaced, yeah, this guy, like, mm, yeah, he said some things a lot he that uh, lot. that people know already, mm -hmm. but they play stupid. They look at you. They play stupid, okay. like, and it's so, like, and they normalize the stupidity as if that's okay. Like, you yeah. literally sitting there knowingly. That what you're saying is going to definitely put the young man in jail. Mm -hmm. But yet it's promoted. Yeah. Man. Hmm. Just a drug addict on TV. You know what? You're just a drug addict on TV. You know what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, let me also say this. Rappers will always tell their story, mm -hmm. right? Because being in the hood is not something that, you know, everybody just randomly say, oh, like, like they grow up in the hood. Like, they don't have a choice. Some people just yeah. don't have a choice. And yeah. their background, how they, how, how they push out their music comes from their story of all the things they go through. But yeah. when will that story shift? Yes. Is narrative to say, I'm out of the hood. Now let me give you guys yeah. another light on... What I did to get out of it, you know what I mean? But instead, yeah. we stay down that same road as if yeah. we still there. But you living in the hills, you know what I'm saying? I don't get, get it. Out the hood. I don't. I do not get that. They moved to the mansions, and they still rapping about being in the hood. You ain't there no more. 
know. So teach the people that's still there how to elevate. The same way you was able to get out the mud. Yeah. Like, all right, hey. And that's why every little boy in the hood wants to be a rapper. Mm. That's why. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a good track. Um, good message. Great message. But, hey, uh, that, yeah, he did. He did. So, guys, that is our reaction. Um, give us more requests down in the comment section below. But in order for your request to be honored, yes. you have to be subscribed. Okay? It's only fair. We're on the road to 50K. Help us get there. We cannot get there without you. We'll see you all soon. Peace. Peace.